This is Sir Tap Tap. Let's play Beat Chaser 2. It is a bullet hell slash rhythm game, which is pretty freaking awesome. In theory, I haven't seen too much of it. Um, let's go ahead to score battling. I think the English is intended. It seems th the sort of it seems like the sort of English that would be intentional. So. The bullets, both yours and the enemies, are in tune with the beat, or the tempo, or something. Some sort of musical thing. Which is actually a pretty cool effect. Though it sort of make, forces you to know the song a little bit. Not that bullet hells aren't all about knowing the pattern to begin with. The uh, graphics are a little basic. But they get the job done, and it's a really cool idea. I love it just for that alone. And there is an option where you can play your own music. I was thinking, what the heck, I'll play some off uh, soundtrack stuff. There's some good stuff that, that would be very fitting there. Though I, I did a quick test run of an off track, and it wasn't quite this... There weren't this many bullets. Maybe need to pick a harder difficulty. Yeah, I think this is really cool. Um, well, I've had a couple of margaritas. Probably not the best time to play Bullet Hell, but whatever. I got a margarita blender, so I'm about I'm gonna use it. Except now I'm out of booze. Damn it! At least out of margarita applicable booze. Damn it! I'm not in a good spot here. I just don't know what I'm doing on this pattern. Oops, bad. You get a shit ton of lives. I think 18. Ugh. I don't know where to put my eyes in this game yet. Like, you want to have your hitbox in vision, but not quite... You don't want to be watching it exactly. I don't have quite the hang of that yet. Um, there's, some, there's some pretty cool patterns that at least I haven't seen. For, like this one. This one's pretty cool. So it's not all generic stuff like the circles going around. It's a pretty standard one. This one's kind of cool. I guess God Cat had some and I haven't played, you know, 11 billion Toho so I'm sure Toho has probably used the majority of the patterns that are like physically possible. I thought this was a neat one, though kind of annoying. It, it's mostly about getting, um, moving so that you're always going to be above or below the homing bullets, and then you just dodge the normal ones. It's just a bit of a mix-up at the start. Also, I tend to hover towards the edge of the screen in these games, and that's very annoying because this is a flash game, and if I hit the edge, I stop controlling my character, and the game does not pause for you. At a, ever. Um, in fact, you hit the only way to pause is to hit escape, and that ends your game. And I don't know how long. I guess maybe I'll wait till I die. But I do want to. Damn it! Show off. I think you turn. Yeah, you can turn, which is a rarity in these games. Damn it! But how was I saying? I really do want to show off the show the play your own music. You can play anything that's an MP3, I think. So that's really cool. So it's like it's like Beat Hazard, but Bullet Hell instead of pretty easy um, dual stick shooter. I mean, I like the idea of Beat Hazard too. Um, that's pretty seizure effecty for some people. I never had too much of a problem with it, but I mean, I definitely got to admit it's pretty overtly intense with the visuals. Especially since the hard mode, one of the one of the things that um, that Beat Hazard does to make the game harder is they make the visuals more intense and flashy and stuff. That is like an actual difficulty factor. How like seizure-inducing the visuals are. Now, an interesting thing in this, um, the enemy's health slowly goes down as you dodge. So you want to live more than you want to hit them. Um, which is 
kind of important because it's pretty hard to actually hit people in certain, some of the patterns. And some of them you cannot attack at all. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't really care about the story, quote unquote story mode or whatever. We're going to go straight to. Wait, what are these? I don't know what pattern number 12 disabled means. We're going to do random patterns and we are going to choose our MP3. I already opened up, um, got the off soundtrack here. We're going to do pepper steak. It's a heaven chaser. Screw it. I'm pretty sure the English is intended. Chase the heaven. I will do that. Uh, this is a new one on me. The uh, pattern. The interesting thing about the off um, soundtrack in this game is that the tempo speeds up and slows down so often it makes for very interesting patterns. Like it's about to. Damn it. This is a kind of tricky one. You just get the habit of getting through ah, the white ones, the red ones would be much less of a problem. Please change modes. How much more health can you have? Okay, you don't have much health. You please, okay, there you go. Spell break, yay! Yeah, spell break is basically changing boss modes. It's all boss attack stuff. There's some amount of different phases. I'm not sure what all of them are yet. This is one of the basic, this is like, I think this is the first one it gave you. It's pretty standard rings of stuff attack. If you play any bullet hell games you're probably quite familiar with dodging this sort of thing. It's normally very elementary, but, um, um, what is it called? Le Chat Noir in, um, Gun Dead League, um, made this a real bitch, at least in demonic difficulty. That was the first, um, area of, oh god, what? Huh, never fought this one before. I mean, I've played patterns like this, but, um,. There was a boss in... That was the first boss of Area 1 that I never beat in uh, Gun Dead League. Nah. I will never be able to pronounce that game's name right. Oh, it just restarts. Okay, I was going to say that the off soundtrack, everything is pretty short for a bullet hell thing. Like a proper game. I have some extended tracks, but they're 10 whole minutes each. And that's kind of a bit much. The problem with video game music is that they're usually like two to three minutes and there's a loop somewhere in there so they don't make good normal music replacement and like stuff doesn't um, original soundtracks don't usually extend the tracks too much they'll put in a couple loops or something but it's kinda lame like ten minute extended is a bit long though I like my ten minute extended off tracks um, but ideally it'd be around 5-6 minutes to compete with most of the rest of my music is around that length per track. Yeah. Video game fan problems. I'd say at least half of the music I regularly listen to is um, video game music. Lots of Kirby, um, lots of Off recently, and um, what else we got? Mega Man ZX Advent actually has really good music, so I've been listening to that. Um, lots of the void is filled with uh, Rammstein, VNV Nation, and Scooter. They're some of my favorites. Weren't you just... Oh no, this is the more swoopy version of the Circle One. It's like swoopy in and out. There's not much to talk about the actual game here, unfortunately. I mean, it's 
Dance Bullet Hell, but it's Rhythm Bullet Hell. It's cool. You should play it. What do you mean you're too pathetically weak to play a Bullet Hell game? You disgust me. Damn it, viewer. That's the second loop. We'll end at this at the end of this phase. I really do like that it slows with the tempo. That's neat. And the off makes the off soundtrack, the tempo is so dynamic, it makes the battles really interesting. Alright, we'll do one more off track, and then we'll be at around our five minute or our fifteen minute mark, which is my usual ish video length. What's the ah, oh, there you go. I was gonna say, what's the gimmick? Cause that's way too straightforward. I said one more phase, but... Ah, whatever, I'll die. We have too many lives. 18 is a lot of lives, but whatever. You don't get bombs either, and you don't get more lives, so... I would guess at the end of um, Gundamonium and stuff, I'd probably end up between bombs and lives, I'd probably use around 18 in a full playthrough. Though that was much, much shorter than a full playthrough. Um... Flower viewing. I guess it's just enjoying the bullets. Random patterns. Now we're gonna play my MP3 here. Um, what do we want to play? Magic Pipe is good. Meaning of his tears is good, but I don't know about that for Bullet Hell. Um, so much good stuff in this soundtrack. You should really, you should get the soundtrack right now. You should be downloading it while I'm talking. We're gonna play Magic Pipe. It doesn't really fit with the rest of the off soundtrack, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I really like this track. When was was this during the boxer? That must have been. That's the only place I can imagine where this would fit in the game. But I mean, there's two other boxer music things. That's what makes me sad about going back and listening to the soundtrack is that I should have recognized some of these tracks and I kind of don't. I recognize most of them. It just makes me wish. I really wish I had uh, mentioned the soundtrack more while I was playing. When I'm doing the Let's Plays, I don't really m notice the music that much, because I'm talking over the whole thing. But, the music in Off is really, really good. Like, I would play that game just for the music. I got pissed at the ending and everything, but that... Just, the music alone, the atmosphere... Everything was really crazy, and I loved it. Except for the third ending, because that was bullshit. Whatever. I consider that to be like the dog ending in Silent Hill 2. I can't hate Silent Hill 2 because of the dog ending. I just wish it wasn't like super hidden. Like in Off, I was expecting something special for the third ending. I got that. Um, Silent Hill 2 had multiple different endings and the dog one was just one of them. So, and I knew I knew the dog ending was coming, honestly. So that's probably a big part of it. It's sort of neat how these give you a breather at the end, because the start and ending are so quiet. It's not very bullet helly of it to give you um, a breather. Hmm, do I want to do one more song? Come on, get more intense! Is this, is this the hardest difficulty? Honestly. Oh god, this one. This one is mean. This one is not nice. This is what I was talking about with you can't attack. There's no... Ah, crap. Yeah, you can't go through the blue bits. I've played some areas like this in Gundamonium and such, but... You could always attack. So in this one, you're just waiting for the meter to go down. The enemy's health constantly goes down no matter what you do. So, sometimes it's just better to focus on surviving than doing any damage. I'm gonna die. I mean, 
mean, I have tons of lives, but still, I'm bad at this one. Just turn down my mouse sensitivity. Not that much, not that much, okay. These aren't really ideal breakpoints of sensitivity. Go down, health bar, go down. Perfect timing. Maybe I won't die. Yeah. Alright. Aw, oh, we're back to the boring one. Whatever, die. One more track. But yeah, the graphics definitely pretty generic. Um, so that's unfortunate. But... Those are very slow. But you know... The idea is cool enough that I really think it's worth a play for anyone that really likes bullet hell games at all, or rhythm games even. It's a nice twist on a rhythm game, too. Let's yeah, stick with a random pattern. Um... Oh, what's it called? What's it called? Brain Plague. Let's do that one. Oh, and there are easier difficulty modes than the ones I'm showing you, by the way. They don't seem that different, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just not... I don't think I played easy. And I managed to get hit already. This is a neat one. I love patterns. They're so, they're so pretty. In fact, one of my favorite patterns is in Hidogata Hapa, one of the player characters has a attack pattern that it's like um it's like an oscillating bunch of lotus leaves. It's really cool. Um I think it's Platina. She's one of the special dolls. Um her attack is really cool. It's like being a bullet hell boss and like fighting back. It's pretty cool. Though your bullets don't deal that much damage. So, she's not that great for bosses, but she has an option for bosses, like, she drops bombs. She's a pretty well-balanced character, she's pretty cool. It's not quite something I've seen in a bullet hell game. That's what I really like about, um, Hidogata Hapa. It gave you choices like I have never seen in a game like this. There were so many, cho um, so many character choices, and they functioned so differently. And lots of them had multiple different, um, uh, options to attack or defend, and lots of really cool stuff. This wasn't. This one wasn't really that great for uh, for bullet shootiness. But oh, I like the heart beaty thing it's got going. It's cool. I guess it's not really that bad for it once it picks up. Should have gotten extended cut of this one. I think most of the tracks have extended cuts on YouTube now. I haven't been paying attention to my score at all. I'm not a score hound, even in bullet hell games. I just like to try and get to the end or get the unlocks or something. You know, whatever. Though I did try to beat the demon mode or whatever it's called in Gun Dead League, and, uh, um, which that is hard as crap. That is ridiculous. But I got maybe like a fifth of it the way through it, which is actually incredibly impressive if you knew what the game was. Not sure if I've shown Gun Dead League now. On a video. I probably have. Which reminds me, I know certain someone I need to rope into playing co-op. Like a co-op let's play of that game. Because I gave him that on Steam. It has online co-op. Which, that's another thing. Um... I'm not sure I've ever seen another a co-op bullet hell game, but Gun Dead League nah, has uh, co-op. The one bad thing about that is that its co-op is um, you can only pick like there are three characters, and if somebody picks one character, the other player can't pick that one. So there's basically the easy, medium, and hard characters. So one person gets the easy character, one person gets the hard or medium character is usually how it goes down. Unless, you know, you have two people who know what you're doing and you want to do the medium and hard characters. 
But it's kind of nice for that because the, uh, the the easy character is pretty good for it, people that are new to bullet hell games. 95% of the time I've been playing this game, I haven't been talking about the game, honestly, but... It's cool. You should like this game because it is bu it's bullets and it's beats. It's beat bullets. That's what it is. Oh, we're back to this. I think we've seen about all the patterns, so I guess that's a good enough time as I need to stop. But I knew I, I had to show this off. I knew it wouldn't be like super amusing let's play material, honestly, but I had to show it off because it is bullets. I like bullets. I like many bullets all over the place. Well, we'll beat this mode, and then we'll call it quits. I've probably said that we will call it quits eventually like three times already. But this time for cereal. This has gone on slightly longer than my usual. Yeah, the, the pauses kind of mess it up, but that's just because the... That's how the tracks are set up to play, uh, and they're pretty short, like, yeah, see, this is only like a minute 30 seconds. I should really play some longer songs, but then I would get, like, copyright murdered. I will absolutely never play normal, like, I don't know, anyone that would try to, like, copyright remove stuff. And the off soundtrack is provided free and all of that. I claim no credit to it and all that bullshit that you already know. But lawyers are stupid, so they don't know that. No, they're not stupid, they're just evil. <laughs> I shouldn't be so mean to them. They're just evil. Um... Yeah, let's just die. Whee! 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 Die already. I have so many lives. I got a new high score, though. From dying. There you go. Well, this has been Beat Chaser 2. No, that's just the song title. It's like, what? Off has very weird song titles. We've got leaders! What have we... I have score! I totally have score! Oh. Okay, I see. How do we get out of this? Escape is generally your escape key in this game. There's no obvious way to get to it. But this is a pretty neat little game, honestly. Um, like, visually, it's nothing amazing, and the predefined game mode, you know, nothing super special in there, just a few... I guess there's 12 patterns? Um, to show off. Oh, hey, you... Wait. Wait. We can see the patterns. Not sure what the boxes are about. Oh, we didn't get to see that one. Whatever. I want to see this one quick. It's cool because you can play your own music. That's rhythm game to bullet hell, and that's not something I've seen before. There's apparently a Beat Chaser one, I would assume. So I mean, it's not the first ever. For all I know, there's others like this. That would be very awesome. Oh, right, this is just about enjoying the bullets and the music. Which, that's neat that it lets you get used to the... It's like a practice mode, which that's cool. But yeah, this has been Beat Chaser too. It has bullets. Bullets are nice. They hit you in the face, and you die. <laughs>